Hi guys, how are you today? And today I'm going to show you a science experiment of how an egg floats in seawater compared to clear water. Let me show you. So, as you can see here, we have a bottle of water, three glasses, a tablespoon, three eggs, and salt. Why do we have them? Well, I'm going to show you a science experiment that will blow your mind. It's pretty simple though. Let me, let me show you how to do it. First, you need a bottle of water or a jug if you have one. Second, you need three glasses of water. Third, you need either a teaspoon or a tablespoon. It's your choice. Number four, you need eggs, three eggs. Careful. And last but not least, the salt, which is number five. Now let's get straight to the experiment. So first we have to pour water in all of the glasses. Okay, so after when we're done with that, just close the cap and just add some salt leave this one because this is going to be the clear water and these two are going to be salt so let me just oh i think that's too much so one two three four okay that's all i have to put in that glass now moving on to the next one one two Three. Oh, a little bit of spillage there. Four. Okay, now we just gotta stir it until the salt dissolves. Now, when it dissolves, that's when we can see the results. It's already starting to dissolve. You know how like uh, you pour chocolate sh syrup and chocolate powder to make like kind of chocolate milk, right? It's kind of like one of those moments. I think all of it is done. So now let's move on. Let's stir up the next one. Ooh, I can see a bunch of salt there. spillage all right she just still needs more mixing because you can't see I think it's done okay so um, now let's drop eggs so as you can see if you drop a normal egg in the clear water it just sinks right however if you drop an egg into salt water it floats and now we're gonna put the third egg inside as you can see it also floats because like yeah so it floats but also I can show you a tip of how to make it kind of go kind of sink and float at the same time so just add a little bit more clear water like carefully not like not like a lot so just if you add a little bit more, it's gonna be kind of tricky. Oh, kind of sinks down a little, but I can't add more because it's gonna spill. Anyway, that was our science experiment. So let me show you the results. So the clear water, actually the egg sunk all the way to the bottom. So, and the salty water, fully full size salt no clear water actually uh, flow to the top and if you add a little bit of clear water on the on the salt water um, then it kind of goes in the middle as you can see here so so what happened here well I'll tell you so 
the clear water and the egg has sunk, right? The egg has sunk because the water density is low and therefore the egg sunk all the way to the bottom because it's heavy for the water. But if you add salt in clear water, that makes the density high. So when, you, when it becomes high, the, if to the water, the egg is like a feather. You know what I mean? So if you add so if you add clear a little bit of clear water and there's already salt water, as you can see it flows in the middle. Why? Because there's like some clear water on top, so that makes it kind of go down a little bit, but also there's salt water below, so it makes it float. So it's uh, so like if uh, the clear water is up top, it goes down, but uh, but if the salt but the salt water is below, so it's in the middle. This is the difference between seawater and river water. So the river water, if you went in it, you would like sink if you didn't know how to swim, but you do. But like seas like the Dead Sea in Jordan, if you went in it, instead of sinking down like this one, it's uh, you go up because, this, because the density is very high, like, like I said. So, this is also like uh, kind of like the seas that are kind of like the Dead Sea. They're like kind of in between, you know? Okay, so this is not related, but I can tell you this. So, someone put like an anvil in like normal water that sinks, right? It sinks. But if you put an anvil in liquid mercury, if you guys know what that is, it, it floats because the density is way higher than seawater, than the Dead Sea. If you put an anvil in the Dead Sea, it will just sink, I think. Anyway, that was our science experiment. Make sure you like and subscribe and turn on the notifications so you never miss a single video. Anyway, bye guys.